You're a great director, so you know your film's theme, right? Right? Directors must be able to articulate what their films are about, not just in terms of plot, but on a thematic level. What does it mean? What are you trying to say? Why are you making this movie? Knowing your story's themes, it'll inform every decision you have to make as a director, from the color of a character's wardrobe to a shot's depth of field. And it'll provide you with insight into today's topic. Creating visual motifs. A motif is any recurring element that has symbolic significance in a story, like the rose petals in American Beauty or water in Chinatown. Visual motifs are an essential part because they ensure the story is able to operate on more than one level. We're going to break down one of the biggest motifs in Jonathan Demme's The Silence of the Lambs. It's about a young female FBI agent who needs to win the trust of a guy that eats people. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. So they can stop a guy that skins people. But The Silence of the Lambs is about so much more. It's about the inversion of the American myth, for one. Oh, hey, look at the main colors on that movie poster. Red, white, and blue, what do you know? Ah, maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe. Let's look at Demi's intentional use of the visual motifs of Americana throughout The Silence of the Lambs. And later on, I'll show you exactly how to break down motifs in your own script so you can ensure your project carries the same kind of weight and depth. All right, let's go. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell so you don't get left in the dust. To begin our exploration of the visual motifs, let's look at the main villain in The Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. But before there was this Buffalo Bill, there was the real Buffalo Bill Cody. You can't get more American than this guy. He was the quintessential hero of the American Wild West, a symbol of American freedom, masculinity, strength, and heroism. But in this story, he wears makeup, tucks his donger between his legs, and listens to Man Lady New Wave. It's not just a snarky play on the name, it's a deliberate inversion of an iconic American figure. And it directly addresses the film's core statement. America is not innocent. There is a uniquely American sickness at play in this movie. Demi very consciously brought the motif to the forefront of his storytelling. Look at that massive American flag draped over the car in the storage unit. And there's an American flag up on Buffalo Bill's wall of terror. Well, oh, there's an interesting choice of graphic on the news segment about Catherine Martin's disappearance. Somebody had to design that from scratch. I wonder who directed them to do that. Now, yeah, speaking of poor Catherine, before she put the lotion in the basket, put the fucking lotion in the basket! She was driving around listening to Tom Petty's American Girl. That is way too expensive a choice to be random, and good directors, they don't traffic in random. Visual motifs should be amplified with audio motifs, something to always watch out for. Okay, so I made my point. There's a bunch of Americana stuff in Silence of the Lambs that maybe you didn't notice before. So what? Well, that's what makes something a great work of art. You can come back to it over and over again and find greater and greater depth. So how do you do that in your projects? Let me show you how. When you're doing your script breakdown, don't just look at what's on the page. Ask yourself why it's on the page, and if something else could or should be there. Here, the script describes a car covered in a tarp. As a director, ask yourself, why is the car covered in a tarp? Can it be something else, something better? Let's remember our theme. Why not a flag? That's what we'll do. Highlight the word tarp. Select the category prop, because the actor interacts with it but then rename the element an American flag, parentheses tarp. And now the prop department knows that they need to provide you with a flag large enough to cover a car, and that you're a visionary genius. While we're at it, for clarity, under the scene notes, we'll just add something like, visual motif, tarp is an American flag. And I can add an image, and embed a video, Got an idea for music for this scene? Hey, you can identify that too, so that everyone's clear about the vision. 
The idea is to make the most of every moment in your movie. Every element is an opportunity to communicate your vision. All right, let's recap. The attention to detail in the Silence of the Lambs, whether you're catching it on a conscious level or not, is essential to the elevation of the material. Target these possibilities when breaking down your script. A name, a location, a prop, an article of clothing, what car a character drives. All of these, they're opportunities for defining motifs that serve a larger theme. These are the elements that make a good screenplay into a great movie. Did I miss any nods to the US of A and the Silence of the Lambs? Are there other recurring motifs in the film that you've noticed? Hint, there are. Got a motif for your film? Hint, you should. Weave it throughout your work and look for every opportunity you can to bring the idea home. Check the description to sign up for Studio Binder. It's free to get started. Which brings me to my last point. Don't forget to share your breakdown with your teammates. Maybe they have some ideas you haven't thought of. Even if they don't, having access to your intention will give them a sense of direction. I mean, you are the director. Set them and yourself up to succeed. Subscribe to our channel below, click the bell icon for notifications, and follow us on our Instagram page. Was that too subtle? Yes. What are some movies you'd like us to break down next? Tell us about it in the comments. Now you fly back to school now. A little starting. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly. Just say fly. It's over. See ya.